I'm not sure why the government is recommending a price at all. They've put their taxes in place and they should leave it to the market to determine the price. Dana Larson is a big advocate for legalized marijuana. But first and foremost, he's a businessman. And he doesn't like it when the government tries to put a price on his product, which is exactly what they're trying to do. They also have this idea that if they keep the price high, it means less people will use cannabis and that that is somehow a good thing. Uh, but the fact is, these kind of high prices and high taxes are really just a punishment on the poor who have a harder time affording their cannabis or their medicine. A recent Stats Canada survey suggests that Canadians on average pay about $7 a gram for pot, far below the government recommended $10 a gram. The Northwest Territories are the highest, with an average of $11 per gram, while Quebec mellows out at $5.80. But Dana believes you can't put a price on a product that varies so much. They don't really look at the quality. They're just looking at a price point without any indication of how good it is or what the quality is. Or so saying, oh, well, they pay $5 a gram in Quebec and $7 a gram in B.C. It doesn't mean anything if you can't see the quality of what they're buying and include that in the equation. The $6 a gram for this strain of Harmony reflects the prohibition price, the fact that it is still currently illegal. However, when it does become legalized this summer, Dana believes his price, as well as that of the government's, should drop. Well, we charge between 5 and $10 a gram at our dispensary, but we're operating under a prohibition model, right? So, I mean, it might not be good for my business if the price of legal cannabis drops down to $1 or $2 a gram, but that's okay because that's where that price should be, and that's what legalization should really be about. Earlier this week, BC announced that it would sell marijuana through government-run pot shops, but also hand out a few business licenses to private stores. But if the price doesn't come down dramatically, Dana believes the black market will continue to thrive. Oh, absolutely. The, the free market, as we like to call it, will continue to thrive after legalization, especially if the price is the same. The fact is, if you can grow this plant in your basement and sell it for one to two thousand dollars, you're going to continue to do so. If they want to eliminate people growing cannabis for profit in their homes, if they want to eliminate people selling cannabis for profit, they've got to get that price way down. Tom Walsh, City News, Vancouver.